After a few surprises and raised eyebrows in the early exchanges in the race for the White House, the Democratic Circus heads for Nevada, while the Republican wagon train rolls into South Carolina. Is this the year non-establishment candidates Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders face off for the White House? Hold your horses. The odds of Donald Trump winning the Republican nomination or Bernie Sanders winning the Democratic nomination is very, very small, um, obviously for different reasons. In Trump's case, you know, he's averaging about 35 percent of the, of the vote. Uh, but what that means is that 65 percent of Republicans are not for Donald Trump. It's the, the for the Democrats, Sanders is enjoying a healthy start to the race, but will it be enough to snatch the nomination from Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton has all kinds of problems. She has legal problems, she has general election problems, but she's not going to lose the de Democratic nomination to, to, to Bernie Sanders. His support is too narrow. It's too many just young people and far, far left. And unless he starts breaking through among African American voters, among Latino voters, he's not going to win the nomination, and there's no sign that he's done that yet. Both Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump appear to be enjoying the limelight and the possibility that what began as a gamble could end up being a safe bet. Our correspondent in Washington is Stefan Grober. Saturday's contests are a crucial step before the campaigns head into Super Tuesday on March the 1st. And it could be another bad day for both party establishments. If the outsiders Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders win, expect an ugly slugfest for the rest of the primary season. Stefan Grobe, Euronews, Washington.